My name's Ian Puddick, I run the London Boiler Company and the Hertfordshire Boiler Company. Um, I've also been the plumbing heating expert advisor to programmes on ITV, Channel 4, BBC News, BBC Three and even Rogue Traders on BBC One or better known as uh, BBC Watchdog. So what do you do when you've got a gas boiler with a flue that disappears up into a ceiling, into a void, it could go into a central... what? fluing system inside a building, sometimes called a C duct or a U duct, they have different names. Uh, but the issue is, the flue here on this boiler disappears up into the ceiling, we don't know which way it goes, where it disappears to, which from a legal perspective means it can't be checked and it can't be inspected, which new legislation insists upon. So why have we advised the customer in this instance to go electric and not go gas, especially when two other companies have said that they could install a gas boiler. I have these conversations almost on a daily basis with customers when I'm trying to explain the flu issues. And I've turned up today and we're gonna try and illustrate so that you can see visually that in order to install a gas flu, a gas boiler flu correctly and more importantly, legally, so it complies with the legislation and doesn't invalidate the warranty by incorrect installation, we'd like to illustrate exactly what somebody else has quoted on, but if, if you're going to install a flu correctly, how it would look, and I don't think you'll be happy. The customer in this instance did actually get two quotes to fit a gas boiler in the existing location with the flu running along here. This is just a piece of drain pipe to illustrate how a flu would look if it ran along the ceiling. The drain pipe is exactly the same size as a, a flu pipe would look. And the customer was given this option with a further option to box it all in, cover it up. Now you might look and think, well, it's not great, but I could accept that. Well, here's the reason that you can't fit a flue running horizontally, nice and level, nice and clear or nice and clean along the top of the ceiling. So what we've done is we've lowered the flue and you may think, well, hang on, that looks ugly. Yes, it does. Now, in order to fit the flue correctly for a gas boiler, according to the law, according to the manufacturer's instructions and building regulations. From the top of the boiler, for every meter that the flue exits towards the outside, it has to rise up 52 millimeters. So in order to get the correct flue specified by the manufacturer, we would have to fit the flue something like this, which means you would have a great big flue, a great big box along your ceiling, which would be hideous. So the reason there's a fall and the reason the manufacturer wants the fall is you get steam build up in the flue. Inside the flue, that steam will condense into a vapour, into, into water. And because of the fall, rather than sit in the flue and corrode it, it will fall back into the boiler, that liquid, and discharge safely into the boiler. Um, and the boiler is designed for that. The second issue and the big issue is after the flue installation, whether it's installed correctly like this or incorrectly uh, in a hor straight horizontal line, we are assuming the customer at some point is going to box the flue in just for aesthetic reasons. Now, the flue needs to be fully inspectable. So we need to be able to check the flue, which means that we put inspection hatches in at various points so that the flue can be inspected. Well, would you want this running through your living room and a huge great big box running across there. The boiler would now need to be lowered which means you're going to now have to do a load of work in your kitchen to lower the boiler in order for it to be fitted safely and again re recommissioned and installed in accordance with the law and with the manufacturer's instructions. So to do it properly it wasn't possible to fit a boiler in this, in this particular property. Other people will install boilers and they will work but they won't be to the appropriate legislation and you will have no warranty.